Hello, Saggy. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Make sure you guys flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Okay. Um, if there are, well, please be aware that there are fake pages down below in the comment section. If the name is not highlighted in gray, it is not me. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other platforms outside of YouTube, it is not me as well. Um, my social media platforms are going to be down below in the description box, okay? So let's pop on Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you all. All right. So what's going on for my Sagittarius? It's very clear and concise messages. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return any spell work, any dark magic that's sent to harm the collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones. Please return it back to the sender. So let's see, Saggy. What is going on with you, Sagittarius? Messages for my Sagittarius. All right, so we have planning, making plans for something. Okay. Someone could have ginger hair and a lot of tattoos on their arms and stuff. A really nice looking beard. Okay. Gray or blue eyes. Then we have betrayal, broken trust. Hmm, what else? Something is really painful here. Reflection. Somebody could have a hard time breathing. Someone could have an issue with their lungs. See, I don't know if it's too much smoking or something like that. Reflection. Giving things thought and consideration. I feel like someone here is going within two to do some shadow work here to heal something in regards to their in regards to their emotions, their feelings. Okay, what else? Then we have confusion, disoriented and lacking clarity. All right, bottom of the deck is single and available. Playing games, cautious. Yeah, I feel like you could be single, Sagittarius, but I feel like you feel like none of these offers are worth giving your time to because these people, like, they're playing games and shit like that. Like, you just don't got time <laughs> for the bullshit. So let's see what's going on with you. Could be in your feelings right now about something, maybe quite emotional. Could be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Libra. So let's see, what is this planning right here for my lovely Sagittarius? Let's see, Saggy. <clears throat> what's planning? Four swords. So, yeah, they go to Libra. Someone could have a Libra Jupiter. So, this is like a meditative energy. You could be in a meditative state right now, just trying to find peace and Zen. Okay, trying to maybe work through anxiety or it could be fears. Um, some of you guys are needing to get more rest here. You're trying to balance out your schedule, is what I'm getting, like your routine. Okay. I'm also getting you're incorporating some new rituals into your practice if you're spiritual um maybe more spiritual baths instead of taking two or three a week maybe you're gonna take them all week <laughs> okay like i don't know but something is changing three 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 on the timer yeah something is changing here i feel like you're contemplating you're thinking about something you're really in heavy contemplation and deep thought what's planning with the four of swords <clears throat> okay eight of cups i damn near picked that up in reverse so you're trying to, for some of you guys, you're trying to figure out how you're going to go somewhere, how you're going to travel or move around or something like that. The Eight of Cups is a card of travel. All right. I feel like you're going to walk into the unknown here. So I feel like what you're trying to do is plan when there's probably a need to just go with the flow. Okay. So I feel like you're trying to tame yourself <laughs> to get ready to walk into something else. Because I feel like where you're at, you're not emotionally happy there. You're desiring more. You want more. So um, you're planning, you're strategizing right now. I feel like you're healing too. You're really in the energy of like solitude, wanting to be alone right now. Okay. Yeah. What else for um, planning? So you're walking away from something though. It could be something within yourself that's toxic or karmic or whatever. Um, or somebody. So yeah, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. <clears throat> This is uh, being action-oriented. This is goal-oriented here. 
So this could be somebody coming towards you quite quick or quite fast. So this is you making a decision to do something. Okay, this is somebody that has a lot of courage. They're brave. Or this is what they're going to try to come in and show you. I feel like somebody's like preparing to do something. Well, yeah, it does. It says that making plans for something. But they're, they're trying to get prepped right now. What's the Four of Swords? The Nine of Cups. Yeah, so wish fulfillment here. Wish that's being granted. Okay, you're trying to make sure something goes in your favor. <laughs> I feel like you don't want no fuck-ups. You don't want to mess it up. Okay, yeah, who did I get this for? Aquarius? Could be dealing with, yeah, they're going to start. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Someone could have a Pisces Jupiter, a Pisces Saturn. So with the Nine of Cups, I'm getting um, definitely a lot of self-care. Like I said, some of y'all could be needing to eat more fruits or something that's going to help your mental health. What you eat really affects your mental health too. So you might need to change your diet or something like that, Um, the way you eat. But the Nine of Cups is a wish being fulfilled. It's a wish granted. This talks about feeling comfortable and content, happy. Yeah, there's something here coming in. What's the what's the Eight of Cups? Or something that you want, you're really thinking about it. Somebody is somebody could be masturbating to you, Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, this person. I feel like somebody's like tired of thinking about you. They're getting ready to take action. What's the eight of cups? You went from the eight to the nine. Okay, now we have the two of swords. Yeah, with the moon in it again. Someone could have a Libra moon. So there's like, like I said, yeah, there's like something about anxiety or fear or feeling too overwhelmed. I'm getting there was a choice between two or two paths here and somebody walked away from one of them because one of them is just not emotionally fulfilling. Okay, and I feel like the confusion came in because it's where they was at had eight cups. It's like they were almost at the nine of cups, ten of cups, but they were just at eight. And so whatever, whatever somebody was in was karmic i feel like it was karmic or it was just not it's just not enough for this person but i feel like it's a reflection of what is going on with them internally or what's going on with you internally so there needs to be maybe some self-introspection some solitude it cut some work so somebody's like healing okay and they're making plans to come towards what they deem to be their nine of cups but something was a tough decision it was a tough choice to make what's the Knight of Swords, definitely a stalemate right now between probably you and somebody or just you're in your head. You don't know what, to, what decision to make or you didn't. What's the Knight of Swords? The moon. Yeah, a lot of moon. A lot of moon energy. Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, Ace of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. Someone here is moving silently. Very strategic. Okay. Someone here could be coming in to bring you some kind of truth because they lied about something or somebody was very deceptive. But I feel like this is a lot going is like a, 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 a lot is going on in the 5D too. But it's a lot going on in someone's head though. Somebody's like in their head. They're trying to make decisions that are balanced, logical and hearts like in their heart space. They want to make something make sense. <laughs> Somebody is trying to learn how to not operate so much from their head space but their heart and their head is like the reason why they can't operate from that from a heart space because they're in their head too much or they feel like they've always needed to be that way for for a particular reason right maybe they feel safe that way i don't know but i do feel like there's taking action here even going through somebody's like working through their fear that's what this is with the moon and the knight of swords. What's betrayal? Broken trust. Yeah. What's betrayal? Yeah. So it cut something about a relationship that still got someone here upset or sad or hurt. Someone could have a cancer uh, uh Venus. <clears throat> There's a lot of fear. There's like four moons here, child. <laughs> There's a lot of fear around co a, a connection. All right. I feel like there's a breakup too, though. Somebody here is, is breaking up, but something is really painful. There's a lot of crying and grieving over something. It's 
somebody is like sad yeah ten of wands emotional baggage it could be or it's just like somebody is trying to they're burnt out now they're doing too much in order to avoid dealing with this but they're gonna have to yeah somebody has been trying to avoid something but they're gonna have to work on it and do the healing work what's betrayal with the two of cups in reverse or this is you sagittarius okay yeah seven of swords somebody's like cheating and shit there's like cheating and lies. So we can have an Aquarius moon. What else for betrayal? Yeah, Eight of Swords. The Ace of Cups, yeah. There's, there's, I feel like <laughs> there's something here that's coming in. Like somebody feels like it's the wrong time for something. There could be new love coming in towards you, Sagittarius. There's like newness coming in, or this is just you really needing to um pour into yourself right now really focus on self-love self-care and being happy with yourself for a minute before you just transition into something else <clears throat> because i feel like you're heartbroken or you're hurt about a breakup all right you could be separated from someone here and they're just like being really secretive about their feelings their emotions or what they've been through in past hurts past relationships or whatever the fuck they're just not talking to you about this or this is you or you don't want to open up about it or whatever What's the um two of cups in reverse? What's two of cups in reverse? The seven of pentacles. Yeah, there was some kind of like relationship, a long term investment. Someone could have a someone could be seeing seven seven seven. I feel like someone here was warned though. They were warned and they didn't listen to their intuition. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Someone could have a Taurus Saturn. Someone could have felt obligated to provide for someone, to take care of somebody here, to stay in contact with someone. And that, that led to being in a connection that was fucked up. It's, it's based on material things. Yeah, something just didn't grow out of a connection. It really didn't grow here, this person. I feel like there was a lot of time and investment being put into this. You could be trying to be patient with someone too. Uh, I'm about to call you Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius, because they're healing from past hurts or a breakup or something like that. I feel like you put in a lot of time. But right now, y'all are just in separation because someone is dealing with some internal things that probably doesn't have anything to do with you. I feel like they hurt you because you put a lot of time in this and they just are not speaking or something like that. They're not saying anything to you. It's the Seven of Swords. There could be some friends or some people around this person here that lied to them about you or lied to them just period. This person's friend group or who they affiliate with has uh, fucked up their trust. Okay, what's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody that they had a family with, that they had kids with. Someone, yeah, Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. Their personal affiliations here. Someone could have a Pisces Mars. Yeah, there was something that was hidden here. This person was taking a lot of action, doing something, or this is you. And I feel like it was a lot of secrets and things like that. There could be some family secrets here. Yeah, there's 15 cups. That's the devil. Yeah, something is toxic or something in someone's family is toxic. But we do, yeah. So what's, who's the Queen of Cups? I mean, Queen of Pentacles. Someone could be a Capricorn. Yep, the devil is Capricorn. What's... Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the Six of Swords. Someone could have an Aquarius Mercury. Yep, Aquarius here again, the star. So I feel I feel like this is like you're on a road to healing here, Aquarius. Okay. I mean, damn. I keep calling you Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, man. Aquarius here is strong for sure. But this talks about um moving. I feel like somebody was trying to bring peace into a situation where they were being tricked somebody tricked this person or somebody tricked you or something all right i feel like somebody too is trying to strategize to come towards you because they just went through a breakup after reassessing something something is over between them and somebody else or this is you and someone else this done is over with after reassessing it looking at all the time and effort and it's still not growing it's over with so now what they're doing somebody is like moving in silence they're being strategic on trying to go towards come towards you it could be Someone here that's stable, that's very secure, that um, is a good 
person, okay, that knows how to manage their finances, a hard worker, a good mother. You could be a healer, have a lot of healing energy here. But yeah, let's see. What's the Ace of Cups? Okay, yeah, Four of Pentacles, yeah. But someone is, they scared though, Seven of Cups. <laughs> yeah. Something has some something to do with someone's belief systems as well. Their beliefs, maybe they could have a different religious like background or something. What they the idea of what they thought was family for them is fucked up. It's not. It's not. They're not. Uh, <clears throat> something about what they believe in spiritually or religiously is false. Okay, something is false. That's why the Seven of Cups is here. I feel like they're so confused because they thought that this is obviously what this other person wanted, but it's not. They're a cheater. They're a liar or whatever. And so now everything is changing with this person's world. Their life is changing. The, what they believe in once was changing. It's like, I don't know, some kind of like experiences that this person has went through that and they're all the same kind of people, the same kind of experiences, and they all believe in the same things and nothing has worked out for them. So what's changing is their path. Something about someone's path is changing. They're re, yeah, they're rethinking everything. It's like somebody's whole life is changing, even their beliefs, like with religion and certain things like that. Because something is toxic. The higher thing by the devil is some kind of belief system, or it's just not right. All right, so definitely a lot of Capricorn here. You could be on the cusp, Sagittarius. What's this Four of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups? So it's definitely a lot of holding back or trying to control. Somebody's trying to control their feelings for you, even though, yeah, it's overpouring. It's just like a lot. Okay, there's that star. That's Aquarius. So someone is holding back right now. Okay, they have this this person. I feel like it's somebody you already know, but some of you guys are healing in preparation for a new beginning with new people, new experiences. So it could be different for everybody. But yeah, this person could be a bit financially insecure, unstable. Um, um, yeah, or they're experiencing some kind of like instability. But they're healing though. This is a positive turnaround in the situation, a positive outcome, um, a renewal. That's why I say that it could be somebody here that you already know, because there's like a renewal here. But if it's not, it's there's new love on the board for you, Sagittarius. So there's a lot of healing taking place. And I feel like this person is moving on from someone that they thought was going to be their wife or their husband, and it's not. They turned out to be a snake. So, what a, what's for reflection here for Sagittarius? This reflection. Okay, yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. So, yeah. Cancer energy. So there is <clears throat> so be careful not to overextend or overgive, okay, in the situation, right? Because the Queen of Cups has tendencies to do that because they're in reverse. They're not really emotionally mature and they're not, yeah, they're not. So they probably tend to, excuse me, try to please others. They're needy. They're, somebody has abandonment issues. But the Queen of Cups, this could be somebody's mother. There's there's like a mother figure here that's needy, that's clingy, that is very like vindictive or spiteful as well. The Queen of Cups could be that too. Definitely someone with a blocked intuition. They're not really what what uh what else for reflection with the Queen of Cups in reverse? I feel like somebody is seeing that this person, yeah, they're realizing pay, uh, the hangman, that they're a reflection of who they are too. This is what's helping this person to heal because this queen of cups is clingy they're needy they're just like suffering from some shit that they don't want to work on and i feel like that's this person has those problems too they just show it in a different way so yeah it's like whoever you date is a reflection of yourself your soulmates all of them they're all a reflection of things that you need to work on within yourself and a lot of people get into these relationships and they end and they still go into other connections and not taking the time to heal or figure out what the lesson was in that previous connection. They just carry it on and on and on. And that's why the cycles of pain keeps going on and on and on. That's why these karmic cycles are here, which are supposed to be doing. If a connection doesn't work out, you look at it from a different perspective and look at, look at yourself. Okay, look at yourself. Somebody needs to look in the mirror. And that's why reflection is here. They see something within themselves that they don't like about themselves that are changing it. 
All right, and it has something to do with the past connection or why they've just been hurt over and over and over again. Uh, so, uh, someone could be dealing with a Pisces. What's the reflection? So, this is like an aha moment, an awakening, coming to terms with something, releasing, making sacrifices here, letting something go. Looking at why they've been stuck in something. Yeah, the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. Yep, your Divine Masculine. Or your divine feminine, one or the other. Yeah. Let's see. This person could be a father. What is somebody calling me? What, what? What? Give me a second. Um. Um, no. <laughs> okay, sorry, God. I thought that was something important. It's not, honey. I'm so... I don't even want people to have my number. I, I don't know. I'll be signing up for shit online and then they get my number and start marketing. Bitch, leave me alone. So anyways, what's, um, what's the Queen of Cups right here in reverse? Okay. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. So this nine of pentacles, so I have a Virgo Venus. I'm getting independence, freedom. So some of y'all, this could be you, right? I'm getting this could be you. You're seeing why something is not coming into fruition or why you're separated with somebody because you're needing to look deeper within yourself or you're going to realize that later. Okay, this could be future energy. You're confused as to why something is not happening, why it's not playing out. Okay, because it's like good energy here, but then it's like something is just not moving. It's just, I, I don't know, right? The Queen of Cups in Reverse has a tendency to overgive, though. They overgive, they're overly sensitive. Something about someone's immaturity emotionally is lacking. What's the, let me see, what's the Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups in Reverse? I'm getting to someone here. Okay, you had a chariot. Yeah, you know, it's like everything is moving forward for you, Sagittarius, or whatever the fuck. But then it's like you're internally, it needs to be changed or switched or healed. One or the other, right? I'm also getting to this is Cancer again with the chariot. This is who someone is moving on from. After careful thought and consideration, someone is moving on from this person, which means that it's going to help them heal because them moving on from this person means that they want more for themselves. They want to do better. They they want to take accountability for why they even got themselves in these fucked up relationships in the first place. What is going on with you as to why you keep entertaining? Because you're going to attract. Spirit is always going to be testing you like, do you want this or do you want that, right? You're always going to attract all kinds of people. And the more you vibrate, the higher you vibrate, you attract more people that are of dark energy that's just truth is what i'm saying too it sucks but that's what it is right but it's all about who you give your time to your energy into like if, if you want something toxic you're going to invest in it right that's what's going to tell you where you're at in your healing phase if you keep investing in the toxic connections you're going to get toxic and you're going to keep repeating over and over again so i feel like that's what that's what's going on here which is good somebody is doing the hard part that's the hard part taking accountability Okay, but the chariot talks about determination, willpower, drive. It talks about pushing forward through something to regardless of what mistakes you've made or how you feel about you regretting the past. And yeah, the five of cups looking back at the past and all that is still it's promoting healing is is catapulting you into your healing phase, which is nice. Right. So what's the hangman? Yeah. Um, it's like having a yeah, the three of swords. It's like having a sense of direction. You know where you want to go now or what you want to do or what you have to do to get to where you want to be at. Unless you want to keep repeating, that's on you, you know, but I'm getting um, three of swords. Yeah, the king of cups and the ten of swords. So for some of you, this was a man here that was with this karmic that's now free. They've been betrayed by this karmic here and they had they invested a lot of feelings or they cared about this person or whatever. But this karmic is very emotionally immature or unstable. But it's something within them that attracted this karmic, even though they look nice on the outside. This person could suffer from a lot of um, abandonment wounds, codependencies, neglect. They could have been neglected as a child. Could be anything. Abused. Okay. Anything. But I do feel like, uh, yeah. 
And you know what's crazy? A lot of these readings, even though I know a lot of divine feminists talk about, the, I mean, watch my readings and things like that, duh. But a lot of these readings, it talks about men a lot. I always pick up on men because honestly, men are the ones that need that. They need that, that structure, that healing, because... I ain't gonna say a lot of these men they have crazy ass baby uh, like uh, well I about to say baby mothers but they could but they have crazy ass mothers and mothers that are that have not healed from their past karma and past trauma so they are neglecting their sons or whatever men really need structure boys little boys as they're growing up they need structure and a lot of them grow up without uh, fathers or being raised by their mothers that are emotionally immature so you see them acting out acting ratchet fighting always doing a little stupid shit you know what I'm saying I just feel like somebody has a poverty stricken they come from poverty or something like that but that's a lot of men though honestly as women we get hurt a lot by men because of these reasons because men don't they grow they still grow up and still are very emotionally immature so they become narcissists abusive manipulators gaslighters whatever you know so i don't know i like talking about men even though I know women need the help too but men need help they can't be our leaders if they don't get help <laughs> That's why we're always feeling like we always have to be hyper independent. That's something that we have to heal from too. Hyper independence is not good, but there's there's a low stock on leading as men. There's no leaders here for us to help us or that we can trust because they end up being narcissists because of their past and their mama that's not doing the right thing. Like I've noticed, like from my experience dating men, a lot of men have a lot of whacked out ass baby mamas that are crazy as fuck, abusive. And they, they don't like to talk about it. And then they have these mothers that are abusive or have abandoned them. A lot of men that I've met, their mothers are just now appearing in their lives or just now wanting to do right. It's like after you done fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of emotional trauma is what I'm getting from this spread. As a woman, you can have mother wounds, father wounds too though, right? So just flip the switch. It doesn't have to be, but I do pick up on a lot of men. And because I'm a twin flame, I pick up on a lot of divine masculines that are in karmic energy that are transitioning from being karmic to divine because that's their real path that's what they're supposed to be doing and people that actually want to change that are actually transitioning doing the right thing so i feel like that's pretty cool <laughs> i don't know i don't know why i wanted to share that but i feel like i don't know i like that i like it because we need more good men men need to heal they need to heal all this i don't know it's a lot of people now that will talk about women 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 but these are the same bitches that are showing up in these readings abusing verbally abusing men putting them down making them feel this way and that way instead of like i, I don't know like and they be fucked up too so it's a cycle these a lot of these women are fucked up too and a lot of these women that i see in these readings they don't want to get it together they're they're still like this they're focused on money but still in reverse as an emotionally abusive asshole <laughs> like it's it's just crazy to me i don't know but i like so i like picking up on men that actually want to transition because i'm tired of hearing about these hoes <laughs> you know what i'm saying if you're a good woman cool we always get put on a back burner so of course we're not going to really come out we, and when we do come out in the readings we do what we're supposed to be doing but it's these bitches it's these bitches in reverse or something like that it could just be too like this person is more masculine than they are feminine so they're feminine they're in their masculine energy and their feminine side needs to be handled with care. They need to learn how to be more vulnerable, accepting, receiving of love. They're not. That's what's out of balance for this person. It's their feelings. If you want to look at it that way, there's so many ways to look at these cards, right? But yeah, I don't like, I don't, I try not to place my, I try not to use gender, but it's hard not to. I like to use gender sometimes, but anyways, moving on. So someone could have a Libra Saturn. So... The hangman, yeah, so this is them releasing this pain, this heartbreak. Something was, they're stuck. They were stuck here in this pain and grief and crying and crying over spilled milk and whatever else that was hurting them here. What's the emperor? Or is this third party? This third party is being released. If this was a third party or somebody that this person was dealing with from their past, it's, it's being released. It's being let go of. Because this person, I feel like they're very quite, they're quite spiteful. Okay. And... I feel like somebody is learning how to not let those projections hurt them or make them feel like they're not worthy of real love because they are. Don't let nobody project their, their fears and their problems onto you because that's a them problem. It's not a you problem. If they don't want to get help for it, that's not your fucking problem. You got to move away from them. And people like that, they're always going to get mad and upset. And that's on them. Who cares? Bitch, if you don't want to work on it, then sayonara, ho. See you later. Hasta la vista. <laughs> After a while, crocodile. Adios, amigos. The fuck? What's the emperor? 
Okay, like, yeah, the seven of wands. Yeah, this person is quite defensive. They're guarded. All right, I feel like somebody, too, though, is standing up for what they believe in. Yeah, because someone has the truth. The ace of swords, the judgment, the lovers. Yeah, someone has the truth about a situation. So now they got to fix this with you because I feel like you are the lover. You're the other person. All right. But the seven of wands is definitely um defensive. It's fighting back, though. It's having the courage to fight back. So they are taking action. That's what it looks like with the emperor and the seven of wands. You know? So what's confusion? Disoriented and lacking clarity. The six of pentacles. Someone could have a Taurus moon. The high priestess, Pisces energy. What else for confusion? So I feel like, okay, the death card, yeah. You're going through a transformation here, uh, Sagittarius. So this is your person. But I feel like your intuition is telling you one thing, but you want to see physical action. You want to see somebody give to you and and um, support you and be there for you when you need them. So I'm getting reliability because you want stability here. With the Six of Pentacles, something could be changing too about your job. Could you could do spiritual work here? Yeah, you could get a lot of attention here. Would you whatever you do for entertainment with this Libra? I mean Leo Jupiter. You could speak out, yeah, Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands. So there's something that you do that's creative that's changing too about your money, your finances. Okay. Um, so you could just be putting your focus on that because I feel like your confusion, you're confused about why this person is not talking to you. It's because they're guarded. There's something they just need to work on this. They're in the middle of releasing and reflecting and all of that so there's something that's going on with you over here possibly with your career okay um that you feel intuitively that needs to change or be different or you're just going through, you're being catapulted into a transformation by force <laughs> by spirit because it's time for something to change maybe there's something that's going to balance out with your money possibly i feel like you're very gifted with akashic knowledge too so you could be spiritual what's the six of pentacles Okay, yeah, Eight of Wands. For some of you, yeah, you're getting some communication coming through or something is coming to, towards you intuitively about something that you're doing. There's something that you do to help your community. Um, it's going to take off. This could be how you get paid or you do something with communication. Some of you guys are trying to travel or something like that. You could be needing help to travel or get money to travel or move away from something or go towards somebody. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, Five of Wands. There's just like some bullshit going on here. I don't know what this is. I'm not really picking up that energy. And if it is here, it's not really showing good. Because <laughs> that means it's disappearing. I hope everybody just stays in alignment so it can stay gone. I'm really wishing because I'm so sick of seeing these hoes. I want to talk about something else. What's the High Priestess? Okay, yeah. The Lovers in Reverse. So... <clears throat> um. Gemini energy. Yeah, you know, the Lovers in Reverse talks about trust issues. Okay, it talks about not taking accountability. So you're confused as to maybe why somebody ain't taking accountability. Or you know intuitively that, that there's a breakup. There's something going on here, but you're confused as to maybe why this is not... Somebody is not coming towards you now or what's happening. I feel like it's because there's patience that needs to be had. There's patience that needs to be had right now because somebody's just not ready. They're too scared. Okay, is what I'm getting. What what's the high priestess with the lovers in reverse? Definitely, I'm getting an imbalance too, though, with your masculine and feminine. Is that like I said, it's something off? It's your feminine with the high priestess. Okay, um, something that's on your subconscious, something that you're hiding. You're not really maybe trying to hide it. You're doing it unconsciously, like it's in your subconscious, but you're hiding it. That's why Tarot is here. This is going to help you figure out what it is. It's your trust issues. <laughs> Okay, it's your trust issues. What's, what's the lovers in reverse? Okay, someone got a Sagittarius Mercury. Yeah, Eight of Swords. You guys will be seeing 888. Yeah, it's fear. It's feeling like you're trapped mentally or you keep thinking about something over and over again or something like that is going on here. Yeah, there's, there's just something that needs to change with your mind involving your love life here. I mean, it could be your finances too, but I get this as love. What's the, let me see, what's the death card really quick? Someone could have a Gemini Jupiter. 
yeah the world so there's a big change or a, tra a transition here there's a big ending so i feel like with whatever this is trans whatever you're going through um energetically is 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 pushing you into a, a stage of like solitude, trying to like become more whole within yourself with the world. All right, maybe you are changing just like just period. Your whole I'm about to say body, your whole um your your whole self, you're changing with the world here. You're going through a major change and transition energetically to clear out past karma. Yeah, going through an awakening, a judgment, ace of swords. Yeah. Some kind of like fear is still lingering though. You still feel stuck in a sense, right? It's like you feel whole, but then you still feel stuck a little bit. It's because maybe a breakup. There's something on your subconscious about a karmic energy, a false person. What's the lovers in reverse? The four of wands. What's the lovers in reverse with the four of wands? Could be dealing with somebody got an Aries, Venus, and the sun. Okay, yeah. Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, The Empress, and the Page of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Leo. So there was somebody here that you were married to or you were dealing with. I feel like something about your twin. For some of you guys, you're in a twin flame connection. It's it's you're going through a, a another initiation phase where um Something about you could be going through a DNA upgrade, like your whole just what you believed in or something is just shifting. OK, it's a part of your journey, though. It's a part of the process of this journey for sure. For sure. A lot of enlightenment here. Something going on with your stability, too, possibly or your friend group. Um. I feel like you want to sit, feel a sense of like community or like you want friends or you want people around. But I just feel like you're just you're just I don't know. You feel scared to like you, it's trust issues here. It could be making friends within a community. It could just be I don't know. You would like to have a friend, but I, it's a, just a lot that I'm picking up on this uh, Sagittarius. I'm about to call you Aquarius again, child. I don't know why I'm getting Aquarius so bad. If a person could have Sagittarius somewhere in their sun, moon, I mean, moon or rising, Venus could be anywhere in their chart. I feel like a lot of you guys are thinking about your twin or you're dreaming about them or you're just hiding the fact that you're, you feel stuck. Or you feel trapped in this connection <laughs> and you're going to be because that's a twin flame connection. But what you're supposed to be doing is working through your issues to come into alignment. Okay, so feel like you kind of like if you're a woman in masculine energy you just feel really guarded right now you feel really defensive or you feel like you, you're in fight mode that's what you're 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 in fight mode you're still maybe giving too much of yourself to a situation you're thinking about it too much or you're it's something still there that's lingering that needs to be healed okay so you're probably going to go through another healing phase and it has something to do with your emotions all right Family it could have something to do with family and children, a past, some type of past life. It's to clear this, um, whatever this is, it's a karmic cycle. It's in your records here. You have to clear it out to move on to the next phase. So let's see what's what's going on here for Sagittarius. Very deep reading today, Saggy. I, I don't know, but it does have something to do with the a relationship that, that I feel like you still feel, um, you could be affected mentally. Like you have mental health issues, a lot of anxiety or fear or you're worried. Okay. You're carrying around emotional baggage from whatever this is. What's this Eight of Swords right here? What's the Eight of Swords? Yeah, the Judgment and the Six of Cups. Yeah, something from your past. Past life healing. Okay, the Judgment, Scorpio energy. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Something is an illusion. It's not... But the judgment is definitely an awakening. It's having to make a decision or being decisive about what you want to do. But I'm getting more so of an awakening. Some of y'all, it's definitely inner child. It's, it's definitely that, okay? It's something about your inner child that's still affected by something from the past. All right, it needs to be healed. So let's see. What's, what else for um Sagittarius? Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, because tarot readings, they're supposed to help you 
be like, aha, okay, this is what it is. You know, they're not going to let you, these readings are not for you to sit and lie to yourself or ignore it. <laughs> You're supposed to listen to it and actually do the work, right? What, what's going on for Sagittarius? Okay, so we have waiting, yeah. Waiting, waiting for your return it hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you feel let down for some of you. This is your twin here. You feel let down by this person because I feel like you're waiting on them. But like I said, if you're waiting on your twin, it's because they're not coming because there's something karmic still here. Even though y'all probably walked away, you broke up from somebody, there's still lingering feelings or emotions or feeling scared. Or some of y'all might need to go to therapy. That's what I'm getting too for like abuse. Or something like that, yeah. Getting like emotional too. So something that's hurting you really is still there, but it's not penetrating you like it used to. So it's slow progress, it's healing, but it's just not all the way there yet, okay? You got to feel 100% complete and whole and not fearful of anything. Well, I'm not going to say not fearful of anything, but this needs to, this one thing in particular needs to be healed. As you and your person, I feel like it's both of y'all. It's both. Shattered. That came out in reverse. I'm feeling broken. Can't stop these racing thoughts. Okay, let's see. That's in reverse. So what's shattered? What's shattered? Casual sex. Let's be friends with benefits and leave emotions out of it. Let's see what else. And the regrets. I regret the things I should have done but never did yeah liberation i'm setting myself free and embracing new experiences so that's good though it's good it's working whatever this is right here okay it's this is just a process you're going through the process of healing okay it's not easy so it's probably back and forth back and forth you know one day you feel like this the next day you feel like that with all this moon energy over here it's a lot of emotional shit going on here <laughs> okay separation in reverse okay yeah so let's see what's waiting clarify waiting spirit for Sagittarius secret admirer in reverse I'm not ready to reveal my true feelings for you okay that's in reverse so that's a lie yeah change transition soulmate yeah damaged mm -hmm. travel and true love yes yeah, so, so, so the 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 dots are connecting back to you here Sagittarius this person is, is ready to, they, you want this person to reveal their feelings here. They're slowly progressing. What, what else? Or this is you. Detached. Yeah. I'm emotionally closed off, so I don't feel my past wounds. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that just didn't clarify everything that I just fucking said. Yeah. Playing games, playing around, having fun. Didn't mean to waste your time. Yeah. Empty stage. I feel empty without you. You're the spotlight of my heart. So if you're longing for somebody, right, and they're still hot and cold, it's because you're not feeling whole within yourself. It's it's this this karmic energy from the past, like I'm still getting. Something outside of you and this person. If you're waiting for them and they're not coming towards you, you're marrying this person. They're a reflection of you. You're twin. This is definitely twin, twin flame vibes. They're a reflection of your wounds. So if you're chasing still... And maybe you're not actually like, oh, you know, I'm just sitting back, I'm waiting, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm I'm just chilling, I'm just doing my work, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine, but you're not really touching on the real problem at hand, though. It's something else here. So yeah, it's like you feel you feel lonely, or you 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 can just miss your person. That's something normal, right? Especially if this is a twin. Yeah, you, yeah, loneliness. Thank you, spirit. I cannot make it up. It's something, um, within you that's just still affecting your child i don't know what else it is it, it, you just gotta let me know i guess what else child y'all regions ending y'all know i'm a sagittarius north node and i have a, a sagittarius ninth house is everywhere in my chart ending i know endings are painful but it's best that we move on for now yeah yeah it's it's uh, it's something else karmic here guys what else that's Okay, reconcile. Wow. Yeah, reconciliation in reverse. For some of you, this is about this karmic and uh that someone is leaving. Yeah, then we have target and then work. Somebody could work at target. Okay, but then we have target work. So right now you're transmuting energy. You're putting this pain or this sadness or whatever this is into your work. Okay, yeah, you're transmuting it. You're trying not to keep yourself down. Fatal event, children, and the other. 
Yeah, something could be going on with children too, or somebody you have children with. What else for Sagittarius? Miracles. <laughs> yeah, you feel like something is just not able to come together. I know you lost hope in us, but I'm going to surprise you. Yeah, you feel you feel let down now, but Spirit is trying to throw you off track. All right, I'm just going to say it like that. That's what normally happens. A lot of plot twists and twin flame connections. Okay, yeah, left hanging, superficiality, and escapism, under pressure, differences. Yeah, so this person, they're going through something here and it's making you feel left out in the cold. It's like, okay, you left this person, you don't want them back anymore, so are you coming back? Are you hurrying back to me or... No, it has to be a, a process of healing, and you might still have something too that you need to work on. What's um what's reconciliation in reverse, spirit? Fights. Yeah, it's something for some of you, it's something abusive here. If I fight with you, it's because I still care, worry when I don't. Yeah, somebody's not giving a fuck. So, so there's gonna be no reconciliation because somebody here has broken up for good for with somebody. So now the process now is to go through this phase of transition um and to to heal your heart space what's reconciliation with the fights there's something there's a fight here something that happened that's just too much yeah about children child i cannot make it up children are important to me and it's affecting our connection so this person or this is you you've broken up with somebody that you had children with that could have for some of you they were abusive or they used children as a pawn or there could be a child that's not somebody's as well that was the ultimate betrayal that's the ending for somebody's ass they're done. They don't want to be with this person, especially if this is a woman that got pregnant. Your masculine, this is a woman that got pregnant outside of the connection. That really shattered them. So they that's probably what they're healing from. Yeah, so let's see. What's empty stage? Attraction. You're so beautiful. I get butterflies when I see you. What's empty stage with attraction? Gift. Here's a small token of my love. Yeah, somebody here wants to show you that they love you here. But the fact that they feel empty without you is a problem all in itself because you should feel whole without somebody. Right? So that's 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 what it is. Okay. The loneliness. It's the difference between being lonely and um alone. Okay. Somebody feels lonely. It's abandonment wounds. It's codependency. It's whatever else. What's miracles? Player. Those miracles. I've been playing the field, not ready to settle down. And then we have slow down. There's no need to rush it. Slow down. Let's take our time. Yeah, this person is going to surprise you here. Yeah, loneliness. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. They're going to surprise you with what they do. So if you don't have clarity about the future, this is why. It's not meant for you to have clarity about it. It's meant for you to work through the process. All right, you have to you have to go through this hard, tough phase here of um, transitioning and clearing your heart space, not being scared of setting boundaries when I'm getting to another one. Setting boundaries. All right. Saying no to people that hurt you or play with you or whatever the case. What's um let's get some twin flame numbers really quick. I'm definitely getting twin flame vibes. So I'm gonna pull these. I pulled these for Aquarius, Taurus. Aquarius, Taurus, who else? Gemini. And was it Pisces, child? I want to remember so, so y'all can look at the signs because you have every sign in your chart. If, even if it's not in your tropical, it's in your chart. Aries. Yeah, Aries. Let's see. For um Sagittarius. All right, so we have 404. What is meant for you will never be held from you. Have faith that spirit is taking care of everything. Yeah, then we have 0330. This is the green light for your angels. The answer is yes. Okay, so something is a yes. 2424, be patient as your angels are working to reveal your life's purpose and mission to you. Yeah, you know, spirit has a funny way of orchestrating things too. They're using this twin flame connection to throw you into your purpose. And then once you focus on that, and focus on your healing, you're going to get whatever they say is this connection or whatever it says you want. All right. If you look at it from a different perspective, it's not really being taken away from you. It's halted. But it hurts, though, because I feel like you missed this person. Okay. Then we have 555. Five, five. Your angels are with you during this time of change and transition. Yeah. What else? So there could be conflict here, too, with the fives. 
1221, learn to provide your own happiness, child, rather than relying on your twin flame to fulfill you. Yeah, so if you're in your 20, so right now you're in a cycle again. There's karma somewhere. I'm telling you it's karma somewhere. I don't know what it could be or some of y'all need to do some inner child healing. Maybe go out, meet new people and just try to, I, I don't know, Sagittarius. There's a way that you have to heal your inner child. Only you can know. Spirit is going to guide you because I can't tell you right now. Shit, I don't know. Yeah, triggers brought on by your counterpart are necessary for the healing of past wounds and traumas. Something from both of y'all's past. And the runner chaser flips from one person to the next. So you could be in the chaser. Your person could be on the runner. They could be on the runner. You could be the chaser. Or you get what I'm saying. I feel like I just said the same thing twice. But maybe I didn't. But anyways, what else here for Sagittarius? 999. Nine, nine. Mastery of self-love has been obtained in preparation for union. Yeah. I feel like these are just the finishing touches. I feel like you're finishing up this part. Okay, it's probably going to be a little stretch, but don't even worry about it. It don't matter. Timing is an illusion. Things happen in divine timing. What else? For um, 5-11. Your twin flame is now beginning to connect the dots back to you. Mm -hmm. They see what their purpose is. That came up under. Be patient as your angels are working to reveal your life's purpose and mission to you. Yeah. What else? Seven Eleven progress is being made in your connection, despite what you are seeing on the three D. Yeah, eight three eight. Your angels are providing important information to you and your twin on the astral plane. There's changes. They're trying to warn y'all about these changes that's coming up. You know, twenty <laughs> twenty. Something could have happened in twenty twenty. Wow, 2020 could be significant. That's crazy because something happened to me very spe very specific in 2020. I, I met my twin in 2020. Actually, no funny shit. Or it was it? Yeah, I think it was 2020. Um, that's when I moved to Baltimore in 2020. And that's what ca my twin flame journey catapulted my spiritual journey towards my purpose for me to be a reader or medium or whatever you want to call me, right? Intuitive reader or um, what else happened in 2020? Yeah, my life really changed in 20. So something happened back in 2020, something that you were moving away from in 20, something is very specific about 2020. I don't know if you had a karmic back in 2020, you're like, you, like me, your spiritual journey started. My spiritual journey started at the ending of 2019 okay and then um boom uh, that that's it's going now but yeah so something yeah and then we have one two three four so remain optimistic about your connection your true heart's desires on the horizon then we have one two three four numbers that i see every day i don't know about y'all seven eleven two Okay, a four momentum is beginning to take shape in this connection. Seven eleven, I see those two. So you could be seeing these numbers as well. You could be seeing those numbers, uh, Sagittarius. Let's see something really quick. Child, let's see. This deck is called the Twin Flame Ascension Take Me Home Oracle Deck by Dr. Harmony. I got it off Amazon. Let's get a card for Sagittarius real quick, Spirit, before I close out. Really fast. Damn, I'm so happy that didn't fall in the fire. <laughs> I would have been so mad, bro. So we said we have nine nine. Open your heart, set loving boundaries. Bottom of the deck is number two two. Remember your identity. You can do it. So remember who you are. There's a mask here. Take off this mask. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see what this is. What is this sweet chair? I hate it. I don't, I don't like how this book is set up, though. It's, like, confusing. Thirty-seven. Okay. Let's see what it says. It is, a human, it is human nature to guard and protect yourself from being hurt again. But if you carry past pain with you, you will continue to put up a wall that prevents you from experiencing great love. Let, letting go of the fear of being hurt and setting love boundaries, loving boundaries 
teaches you to trust the process and open your heart to receive love. This card indicates that you need to let go of your stories and cut energetic cords. Child, I just said something the other day about cutting energetic, doing a core cutting. Some of y'all need to do a core cutting. There's still something from y'all's past. Both of y'all got comments or whatever the fuck. It still hurts or you're still scared of it or whatever the fuck, right? In a sense, even though it's over, you don't have to worry about it. It's still lingering or something like that. It says... Cut cords that are attached to judgment, expectations, and comparison to others. You may also be placing conditions on those you, those around you by expecting them to fill a void that you need to fill from within. Yeah. Be willing to forgive others who have hurt you. Learn to say no and set loving boundaries. Yep. The more heart aligned you are, the greater is your ability to express yourself from the heart. Giving your heart a voice allows you to attract abundance and to create a life you love. When you feel love, you show up as love and freely share love with the world. Yeah. So there's a lot of past life healing and past life karma and stuff like that. That's that's what's coming up right now for you, Sagittarius. So just try to go with the flow. All right. You could be feeling all over the place or like things are not going anywhere or they're falling apart. It's for you to be healed. Okay, so don't lose faith in your twin flame connection either, though, because this is just the process. I guarantee you, if you do the work, y'all coming into union, right? Because I feel like people don't talk about that part of the twin flame connection where you fall in love with your person. And twin flame is all about unconditional love, right? But you have to focus on yourself first. That's the key to coming into union with your person. If you focus on yourself, that's automatic. You're automatically going to be in union with yourself, which is going to put you in alignment with your counterpart. But people like to throw, to leave out, oh, it's not supposed to be romantic. It is in the end. Everybody has free will to choose if they want to be with their person. But usually that love is so strong. If you do the work, you're going to come into union with this person. Because li literally from my experience, there's nobody else that's going to match you spiritually other than your person. Like, it's just nobody else out here that's going to do that. Because, like, for me, I'm too deep into my spirituality to not date my counterpart or not be with my counterpart. It's just a no. I'd rather do the work, go through the pain, and then I could be with my person. We'll match each other. And we don't have to worry about the extra bullshit. Not saying that it's not going to be a hard process or be... Um, it's, I feel like it's going to be a smooth relationship in a sense of, like, now we know that we trigger each other. Now we know how to work through those triggers, right? As long as you're willing to work through the triggers, even if y'all do end up in a relationship, it's going to be smooth. Like, why wouldn't you want to be with your spiritual partner? I don't know. That's how I think. So some of y'all could feel that way and some of y'all might not. I don't know. Because you're probably in the phase of your connection where you're just like, you know, I'm tired of this. I don't want to deal with it. Blah, blah, blah. And that when you feel like that, you transmute it, start your work or start. Once you see the pattern, start really going within to figure out why you're feeling that way. Why is your person triggering you? They're triggering you because what? They're not speaking to you, replying to your text, leaving you on red. You know, they're all over the place and they're making you feel abandoned. So boom, there's your abandonment issues. Why do you feel like, why are you so hooked on this person texting you back, right? And it's, I get it because it's like, it's a respect thing. You could say, oh, well, I don't want to talk today, right? But it's stemming from something more deeper. It's not stemming from, oh, they can just say they don't want to talk. Why they got to ignore me? It's, they're running, Okay, they're running from you and you're chasing. So there's a need to, and it goes back and forth occasionally where you'll just get tired and you'll fucking run, all right? And they'll get tired of you running and they'll chase. Okay, it's crazy, right? But it's, it's not a game. It's some real shit, okay? So I don't know, Sagittarius, but this was definitely your reading. I hope it resonated and I hope it helped, right? Hopefully I helped you out a little bit. Definitely leave me some comments down below, like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.